morning sirs morning ma'am good morning good morning yeah. 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 thank you sir how are you sir very fine sir do you have anything any good news to share with us today personal or something about the country sir i am very happy to be here any any good news about the country or it's not good any bad news Okay. So just tell me, say you have done your MBBS, hmm? and you have taxi so far for some time. No. 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 IPS have not done so far. No. Sir. You are only. Okay. So what work did you do as a volunteer for COVID? So in the first wave, uh, I joined as a doctor. So my work was basically divided with looking after the general OPD to reduce the work burden and partially migrant screening. And in the second wave, sir, I got the fortunate opportunity to work in the DC control room, uh, looking after administration because uh, I submitted. That is only administration. Actual work you did in the first wave. So it was related to migrant screening. And the general OPD, both. General OPD, and you were used to put uh, PPE and. No, sir, I I was not. Not directly. Uh, no, I was not. The, there was a training program in the, and the doctors who were trained in the COVID ward, so they used to go in the ward, and I used to look after the general OPD to reduce the work burden, and migrant screening, which doesn't uh, require that kind of PPE kit. Was it very difficult putting PPE all the time? So you didn't face it. Yeah, PPE. Yes, sir. Yeah. Wearing a PPE is very difficult, especially in the hot and humid conditions of India. What are vector borne diseases? So vector borne diseases are those which require an intermediate vector or a host. Some examples. Kala Azar, Dengue, Lymphatic Filariasis. Okay. <clears throat> so what are the Vertigo. I heard something vertigo. What is that vertigo? So it's a clinical condition in which you experience dizziness. How how it can be improved? So it's due to an imbalance of fluids in the semicircular canal of the ears. So it can be improved by prescribing medication. Medication or there is some procedure also, epilepsy or something. Uh, sir, I'm not aware. Uh, as far manuring, as manuring, so manuring procedure is there. Not heard of them. No, sir. Sorry. Types of blood groups. A positive, B positive, AB positive, and O, and N negatives too, sir. Counterparts. Universal too. donor and acceptor. Sir. Yes, sir. AB positive is universal acceptor, mm -hmm. and O is universal donor. Although the concept has been slightly. In question today, because there are multiple other antigens to be uh, accounted for in the blood group today. You read newspapers? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Haryana, they some OBC, they made some changes in the OBC criteria, and they had been some objection from the people. No, no. Yes, sir. So, so the whole issue was that so, uh, Haryana government. Selected only the economic criteria for. What are other What are other criteria? The other criteria have been enlisted by the courts in the government. That is social criteria, occupational criteria, and. Uh, but when somebody is filling up this application form, those are being taken into consideration or not? Sir, it's in consideration for the OBC creamy layer concept of the central government. So, for example, when you are a chartered accountant or a doctor, that automatically accounts for a good social position in the society. And that, that is taken care of economic criteria. Uh, they are already out. Sir, but for example, if a doctor earns less or it doesn't earn, still he will not be included in the OBC cream. He will not be included. You are sure about that? Sir, uh, as far as the theoretical aspects are concerned, I think okay. so, but I may be wrong. In, uh, You are additional DGP in Delhi, in charge of traffic control. Hmm? Lot of movement of uh, VIPs. Ambulance is also moving. Hmm? A lot of disturbance too. How we are going to handle? Fire brigade also moves. A 
lot of traffic in this. So my first approach will be to analyze the whole situation in the form of GIS and satellites data. I can prepare a route chart and plan to and create a plan so as it prioritizes the most important vehicles that are required to go like the ambulances. Second, my second preference will also be that the roads are sufficiently wide or they are not encroached upon, you are upon not going by to change the road size, road size as a traffic controller, roads you don't have any say. Road width will be same. So, but Beyond your control. Yes, sir. So I can take care of the encroachments hmm. that uh, that are on the road. So, Maybe daily in these VIP areas you don't find any encroachments. Yes, Second, sir, I can third, sir, I can also use technology in uh, maintenance and management, for example, automatic each allowance or automatic red light areas or suppose number plate detection systems. So that can lessen the burden on the traffic police. Okay. Oh. Forest area. Forest area, some states, which state is having largest? MP is having largest. Yes, sir. And whether the largest forest area or the maximum percentage of forest area out of these two, which will help in amelioration of environment? So it will be the percentage criteria because the national forest policy has the 33% percent percentage criteria for all of the states. I think it is a healthy indicator. Thank you, sir. Harsha. Charismatic dot Harsha. What is the story behind this email? Sir, it was a, a conscious and well thought out thought out decision to select an appealing word in my college days. Now, sir, I see it as something which is associated with my name and I just want to be charismatic. What are the characteristics of a charismatic person? So its definition is you have to possess divine quality so as to have a, a large amount of leadership or followers. So, uh, can you give me some example of charismatic person? That we can have both good and bad. The best charismatic personalities I have known so far are Mahatma Gandhi ji, um, our present Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, and the bad ones examples are two there in history. For example, Adolf Hitler, Mussolini. Supreme Court uh, uh, a few days back, I think yesterday, or day before yesterday, talked about politics and policy. Uh, have you read about this? This is in the context of arrest of the central minister. Sir, I have read about the news. Right. So, uh, what can we do to address this problem of politicization of the force? Sir, it is basically encoded in the Model Police Act of 1860, which requires the whole police organization to be under executive. So, sir, the reforms should have to start from the central level. That is, the act has to be modified for promoting more autonomy at the local level. There are certain CRPCs and uh, IPCs also encoded. I can make sure at my level on the district that these particular procedures are being followed at the local level. Okay. Can you tell me some of the best practices in policing that uh, you have come across, which can be from any state? So one of the best case studies I recently heard about was the Community Policing Initiative in Rachi. It has been used to a large extent to tackle Naxalism. Second is also the involvement of police in directly with respect to child labour and reducing dropouts. So this is a very no novel initiative where police really involves itself in the proactive functions of maintaining law and order and not really the aggressive stance. You talked about community policing. Is there any ethical dilemmas in community policing? It's, I can just uh, make an uh, answer that if the police is too involved with the community, it can have apprehensions while arresting the same person. But sir, I'm not sure. Uh, it said that uh, in case of COVID, we are moving from the pandemic phase to the endemic phase. What is the difference between a pandemic phase and an endemic phase? 
Sir, an endemic is a disease localized to a small population or a small area. While a pandemic, we can uh, spread the endemic on a global level, and that will be called a pandemic. Now, uh, you have uh, what you call uh, Sharpwood at university level. India was represented in a short period of time this year, right? Can you tell me about India's performance and who represented it? We had no representations in the female Olympics, female short put, but we had a representation. Uh, the sports person's name was Mr. Tejinder Singh too. He has already held a Asia level record by twenty by throwing nineteen twenty meters. In this year, his performance in Olympics was nineteen point nine nine meters. But unfortunately, he could not get the medal. What's the world record for short put? It is about twenty-four meters. About twenty-four meters. Okay. You have a very interesting hobby: crafting. Uh, how do you pronounce this? So it's papier mache. So is this Russian? French. French. What is this? Can you explain what is this? Uh, what? What is this? Uh, what do you understand? Can you explain what is this? So it's uh, basically a paper craft where we create mixtures of paper. Like a uh, paper is soaked and then it's created, a uh, crumbled and created into a uh, a gluey paste, and that paste is used to mold over into different structures. So, uh, is this similar to origami? No, sir. Origami is different. So, origami will be folding and folding of papers craft. This is related to preparing a paper mash, creating a glue with it, and molding structures, just like clay. Uh, what do you think about uh, allowing Ayush doctors to conduct surgeries? Sir, I think surgeries is a very specialized field. So maybe not surgeries, but yes, international models have shown that people uh, who are connected to the medical field they are very effective in practicing basic general medicine. Are there certain surgeries that can be conducted by Ayush doctors? Are they already conducting certain surgeries? I, sir, minor surgeries like abscess drainage, they can be done, but I am not aware whether it is being done. Okay. Uh, you are watching contemporary Bollywood and Hollywood cinema. Can you tell me some movies that you have recently watched? In Bollywood, it is Sherni, uh, Shakuntala Devi, and in Hollywood, Minari, Rush, Ford, and Parari. Okay. So uh, you have watched uh, the movie Sherni. Uh, can you tell me about uh, politicization of uh, forces for ourselves? Is there politicization in forces? That's what is being depicted in the movie. Sir, any institution which does not doesn't have the required autonomy will face a certain kind of politicization and political pressures. That is portrayed in the movie. And yes, the contemporary actress she faces such kind of problems in her job. Okay, last question. Uh, you are a doctor. Why do you want to get into IAS? You are already in IAS also. Now, why do you want to get into anesthesia? So simply, it's one of the most excellent jobs. It provides me an opportunity. Being a doctor is the best job in the country. Sir, I think every every work is best. So, be it IPS or IAS or doctor or, in fact, teachers. So I cannot compare it with anything, but still, I feel that this is the next step for me, and it, it's just interesting that I want to work in here. And I feel that if you are interested about something, automatically a hundred percent efficiency goes into that. Uh, thank you, sir. So, you have done IPS or you are on leave? Sir, I am on leave. Which carrier you do? So Karnataka. Oh, Karnataka. So good care. Yeah, good. Now, <coughs> tell me, uh, you are working for foreign service also, right? So what's happening in Afghanistan? What is the latest? So the latest news will be the yeah. unfortunate incident of people getting killed at a bomb explosion in Taliban airport. Mm -hmm. Was it a suicide bomber, or it must be something more than that? So, uh, it's very difficult right now to gauge who was the actual person behind the bombings. But regardless of that, Taliban is right now facing 
a crisis of all sorts because Taliban has many ungoverned spaces right now. It's very easy for any terrorist group or any radical group to get in Taliban and create an attack like that. Okay, uh, we read the uh, e book written by uh, Spanish and Sanderson or Survey for Sir, I've read a book on health written by former health secretary Ms. K. Sujata Rao. The book's name was. Sujata Rao, okay, yes. Yes, so the book's name was Do We Care? Mm. So, what did you find? How did you like the book? Sir, the book was extremely insightful. Mm. She has traced uh, the medical journey right from the British's sign to eventually where did we go wrong and finally today's position and how it can be still there. Uh, now, uh, you see, officers are also dealing with economic issues now, much more than we have to negotiate and deal with these countries. What is economic diplomacy? So a country relation, a bilateral country relation has many aspects. Economy, trade. Uh, it has to be only bilateral. No, sir, it can be multilateral. Ah, so, sorry. Don't restrict yourself. Go on. So, so, this kind of relations have economy and trade as a crucial aspect to it. So, the diplomacy and the negotiations used to further trade relations between the countries. It's known as economic development. So, World Trade Organization, World Intellectual Property Organization, United Nations Convention on Trade, UNCTAD, uh, United Nations Industrial Development Organization. How about World Bank, IMF, and all these things? Yes. Now, let's talk about WTO. Are we really benefited from WTO? Suppose I say WTO is more a interest. Do you agree with me? So the trade to GDP ratio was right now it's today at 70%. So it was much below when in 1995 WTO started. No, no, is it because of WTO? So definitely WTO has a role in regulating the 98% trade that happens uh, all across the world. So it has... Yeah, from our point of view, our country's point of view, are they really benefit? Because if we give subsidy, they raise issues, agriculture, even food stocking. Right? Because they want level playing field, no subsidy, nothing. They want to compete on their way. Yeah. And then anti dumping we have so many cases. By and so, so, surely, right now we are facing a consensus risk because as the develop, developing countries rise and the developed countries also, uh, they, they both want to, so they both want to have a level play field. So there is a consensus risk right now, WTO, but we have definitely advantage from the WTO. This can be illustrated by an example. For example, example? Yes, sir. sir, in the solar patents case, in, uh, there was uh, domestic content. Yeah, but the Americans went against us. They yeah. were case pending in WTO. But solar issue only local content. How we are benefiting in compulsory licensing. What is compulsory licensing? Sir, so it is a clause in the patents act where the government can move in to license a, especially a pharma product when it sees that that pharma product is necessary for national security and public health. There also we had an issue, you remember? What is known as bureaucracy and the other things. What are these concepts? The evergreening of patents is... Hmm. Sir, so it's a concept when when the patents is regularly rejuvenated, like even after the expiry of the patents, the drug manufacturers, they alter their drugs in such a way so that there is a case for them to rejuvenate the patent and not allow really the generic industries to take in. You make some minor changes in the song composition. Yes. There was a classic case, Supreme Court, you know that? 
But it wouldn't leave it. Yeah. Good. <clears throat> now, what do you understand by monetary policy? So it's a financial policy pursued by the RBI to alter the liquidity and subsequently control the inflation of the country. Good. No government is going to monetize some of the assets. Is it also part of the monetary policy? Sir, uh, it's done by the government, so it but is. RBI is not government. Sir, it is. is it? Uh, sir, RBI, the, an autonomous body RBI has a very different jurisdiction of the monetary policy. But monetization plan, it will if it will come, it will come under fiscal policy. So monetization plan is a plan by the government to. So use all the pending and the lying assets, idle lying assets, so as to create revenue for financing its other expenditures. So it's a national monetization pipeline recently announced by the government. Why do they call it pipeline? It is a Multiple infrastructure projects are in line to be monetized. Probably that's right. Yeah, fair enough. Yes, that's right. Okay. <coughs> Ayush. What is the full form of Ayush? Sir, Ayurveda, Yoga, Yunani, Siddha, Homeopathy. Okay. And what, so is Siddha? what is Siddha in this? Sir, so Siddha is a. It's a Tamil branch of medicine. Tamil, Tamil branch. Tamil branch. Sir, I'm sorry if I'm wrong, but it's something related to South India. Yeah, but don't say Tamil in that. It's compared to certain districts in Tamil Nadu. Okay. But don't give it the thing that Tamil is something in the other way to that. So, in any case, there is no Tamil in the Tamil thing, as far as medicine is concerned. It's a new result in nature. Okay, it's, it's a form of system. But tell me, intellectual property right, the Indian system of medicine, the American others are all patenting it. Why we are not doing it? Whether it's lean, haldi, everything is patented. Sir, uh, with haldi, there was a, a national discourse that we should be doing it. Mm -hmm. And the government has taken steps. For example, the TKDL, the the digital knowledge library, the traditional digital knowledge library. Apart from that, so recently I would like to give an example of one of a very famous drug called Arogya Pacha, which was patented by CSIR. So the, this is also an example that the government is recognizing the earlier faults and is moving in steps, moving in to uh, correct those steps. Uh, last question: Which is the agency which deals with intellectual property in India? Ministry of Commerce and Industry. No, but there's a particular. Yeah, Registrar General of Patents, Trademarks, and. Very good. Where is it located? It's in Chennai. Thank you, sir. Priyamada, are you also. No, ma'am. And uh, you were. Uh, uh, till 10th, you were in this Carmel School. Was it a convent? Yes. Okay. With a certain Carmel School, so that's why it's written. And then DPS. So why change of school and board? Um, particularly it will be due to the board. The the syllabus of CBSE board is more on consonance with the competitive exams that we give. So it was a conscious decision due to that factor. Okay. Does that also uh, impact your overall marks? I mean, it's a usual this thing that you know in CBSE it's more scoring than ICSE. Is it the fact? No, ma'am. Uh, in my case, it's not because. My marks are de decreasing because yeah. I tried to diversify more. I got till 10th, I was not much into sports and drama and uh, other crafts. Since I diversified more, my studies got a little bit happier. Because usually, uh, the trend is that they change the board students to secure more marks, and I could see that there was a dip in your marks when from 10 to 12. Okay, fine. And uh, then, uh, crafting that. Papier mache, you said that's how it is being pronounced, and mask. What are these masks? <coughs> no, mostly I try to make some traditional masks. 
but uh, they require a lot of raw material investment so i stick to the more conventional type mark that is usually i put the pulp of paper mache on a balloon structure so that i can these are not usual shape. masks which we are wearing this is no. your face mask complete face mask yes ma'am it's a cultural type of mask, traditional type of mask okay okay now coming to mask otherwise is covid 19 mask how many type of masks are there the surgical masks ma'am there are three types of medical masks that i have heard of the first is this surgical mask second is the n95 mask and third is the n99 mask and what's the difference between n95 and n99 it's related to the efficacy 95% of uh, pollutants or foreign particles are being filtered out in n95 while 99% are there in n99 and what about the surgical mask which we are wearing it has an efficacy rate of uh, 70 or 80% but i'm not sure man and what makes those masks so expensive than 95 and n99 in comparison to other surgical masks now it's related to the design and the quality of the fabric used this surgical mask is basically a po three layered polypropylene mask but the n95 mask is designed in such a way that there are no air gaps uh, sometimes there is a bulk related to that and the fabric is also of superior in quality so in that case the cost automatically increases Uh, you said you watched Shakuntala Devi. So, what you like most about her character? Mom, that she doesn't get bogged down by circumstances. She was an a brown Indian girl, and yet she decided to go, in spite of being racial abuses being heard at her, she decided to go to. She decides to go to London, and she just finds up her skills over there, and simply. over all all the other people proving them wrong and uh, who has inspired you to join civil services is there some person or circumstances why civil services man the institution of civil services itself has inspired me to join civil services we see a host of very charismatic officers doing great work <coughs> all over india and that has inspired me basically any one inspiration you can name <coughs> Ma'am, Mr. Armstrong Pawe, uh, he has worked a lot and in some innovative ways for uh, crowdfunding a, a road project because the funds were not available with the centre. So that's an innovative way to bypass the systemic inefficiencies and get to deliver to the people. So you worked in DC's office also. What has been your experience? Some positive and negative experience. Now the positive will definitely be the work satisfaction that I've and I've experienced there. For example, all the machinery when moves in coordination to get a bed for just one patient, that's that's extremely satisfying. And the negative experiences are, ma'am, uh, I've experienced that the centralization in a DC office is too exhausting for a person who is specially working in the capacity of a district collector. Second, the staff inefficiencies. uh not it's very disappointing to see that one's efficiency is hindered because the human resources that we have in the office are not as efficient as we would like to, as i would like them to be and uh, if you are in that place how is is there anything you think that you can address to this problem and how would you do that <coughs> the inefficiency problem Now the best solution to this is having a better work culture in the office. The work culture by work culture I mean that by my example I can motivate all the staff members who are in the office to work in their full spirits and passionately dedicated to the cause. And how would you motivate them? Leading by example. or uh, having a compassionate policy for example if someone if there is a work burden on the office and someone has a personal problem to cater to i can tell them to work from home like adopting some flexible policy so that the employees are happy and they create a happy work culture 
So, uh, are you familiar with Oxfam report on inequality? I do not remember the particular data of Oxfam, but inequality is a problem that must be needed to. Okay, with regards to women healthcare in our country, so what is your view on that when you talk about inequality? And we have done specifically well in certain areas like maternal mortality rate or institutional delivery, but certain areas like contraception need or uh, reproductive health in areas like mandatory sterilization, those are the areas that we still need to improve upon. Uh, suppose you are the chief of medical council of India. So tell me three reforms that you would like to initiate. Uh, please, ma'am, can I three reform? reforms which you would like to initiate as a chief of medical council of India? <coughs> First will be related to the guidelines of the standardization of practices followed in a private healthcare setup. Second will be the code of ethics. And third will be a centralized drug procurement policy which prioritizes generic medicines more than uh, other branded medicines. Okay, and last question, which vaccination is approved for 12 years old? Zycob D. Zycob D. Okay, fine. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.